Hello my friends and welcome to my channel again. Well, as you can see, everything around me is green. You know, I am trying to show you different types of places in Serbia, things that you might enjoy, maybe some recreation area, maybe some cities. And throughout most of my videos, I don't like to keep the camera always towards me because you rather see what's around me than looking at me most of the time. So this is what I'm going to do today also. So let me just turn the camera around and then we'll talk a little bit more. Well, I am in Serbia now for almost 10 years. Naturally, I do travel through other countries, but maybe due to my age, what I like to do, I like to go to, you know, nice restaurants, coffee shops, but I said, I like to enjoy myself. But at the same time, I enjoy, I enjoy relaxing, having a good time. And as you can see in Serbia, yes, there are beautiful cities, towns. Like I said, there are plenty of restaurants coffee shops, many places to go. But at the same time in Serbia, there are places like this. There are beautiful rivers where you could relax, just like I'm doing here today. Well, actually relaxing and fishing. That's what I'm doing here today. But just look around me how beautiful it is. You know, sometimes I complain about things and I will tell you the truth. Sometimes I do complain about Serbia. I complain about other countries that I go to and I am traveling through other countries too, but most of the year I do spend in Serbia just because it gives me the opportunity to do what I like to do. And you know, it's also, I feel free. I feel relaxed no matter where I go in Serbia, no matter is it day or night. You know, I don't have to worry that something bad will happen to me. And maybe that's one of the reasons I decided to come and live here. Now, it's true that when I lived in America, you cannot go for one mile or one kilometer and not see a police car or a police officer or something like that. Well, here in Serbia, you know, Sometimes I go around for days, especially in rural area, and I won't see a police car. I won't see a policeman. But even though I don't see them, I still feel safe. I still relax. Now, like I said, I'm fishing today. Hopefully I'm not only gonna make this video but who knows, maybe I will also catch some fish here today. Now you see, this is me here today. I'm having my coffee, relaxing, fishing. Oh, maybe I'll catch some fish, maybe I won't. 
but I still will enjoy the day. Uh, this river here is called Canal Dunav Tisa Dunav, and one of the reasons it has this name because it connects the Danube River with Tisa and then Danube again. So basically, yes, it's a river, but it's called like a canal because they connect those two rivers together. Yes, I'm walking through grass and some people will say, well, don't you have to watch for snakes? Well, in this part of the country, and by the way, this is uh, Voivodina Banat. As far as I know, now I could be making a mistake. There are snakes, and every time I go fishing, I will see one, two, three, four, five snakes maybe sometimes. But most of the snakes here are non-poisonous, and they don't bite. So you could relax if you go fishing, especially in this region of Serbia. Don't really have to worry about that. Now, yes, there are many beautiful places around the world and I like to visit them. But in the last nine years, I always come back to Serbia. Now, honestly, as I said in many previous video, Serbia is not as affordable as it used to be, but it's still really not so bad. Uh, maybe if you go to the store, you will spend more money, but you also have to consider the property taxes are fairly low in Serbia. Um, depending where you want to live, you could buy a house at a very affordable price in Serbia. Obviously, if you want to live in a city like Belgrade, things are going to be more expensive from housing to food. But if you are like me, that you like to be close to a city but not actually live in a city, then things will be pretty good. Now, what I am located here, remember in that video I said we have a city called White Church or Bela Cirkva. So basically, um, I would say about maybe less than 10 kilometers from Bela Cirkva. And if you are going to visit Bela Cirkva, there is also a uh, couple of lakes over there that you could go swimming. Like I said, just about anywhere you are located in Serbia, you could relax and have a good time. Well, I don't want to talk too much and I don't want to make this video too long. Enjoy this beautiful nature here with me and have a good day and hope you'll enjoy your weekend. See you in the next video.